Let us all pray silently, meditating on God's words. Living Father, these words, even now, there's no, there's not even one act, a piece of lie in it. According to your words, let there be miracles. I have faith in that, that we'll receive answers to prayers, that all of us will receive contentment and happiness in our life. Help, let there be a new beginning. Let our family receive blessings that will do even better and help us to be able to see our family members doing better and better. I have faith that your word is alive and doing its works in the name of Jesus. And thankfulness and blessings, I pray. Amen. Now, God loves each one of you. Each of you, however, what you hate to hear the most is pointing out of your sins and rebuke and pointing out of your sins. But that, pointing out of sins, when you, there are times when you can hear it and it's sweeter than honey. In the small sanctuary, can you hear well? When is it sweeter than, when you hear it that it's sweeter than honey? When you, when you want to continue to draw closer to the Lord, after you repent, when you go after you have gone into Christ, then those words of rebuke will be sweeter than honey. That's Exodus 15, 26, the Word of God. After you hear the Word of God, first, hearing the Word of God, if you uh, uh, mock it, then you'll be you'll fall into ruins, you'll be sick. You're, individually, you'll fall into ruins. Your country will fall into ruins. Why is North Korea? Why are they in such poverty? Because they mock the Word of God. They scorn it. So the people, they killed the Christians. They were uh, ahead in killing the, the Christians. The price of their sins will go down to the descendants more and more. Le Le Leviticus chapter 26, it gets worse and worse. The more that they try to try, but if you try to, they'll get, things will get worse. You're in Europe, thousands of years, they believe earlier, but they're, the church is in demise. They'll fall into ruins. What about Korea? The, the, those cause factions and divisions, they're all Christians, and they're all fakes. In Christ, we're all one. The Word of God says this. Romans 15, verse 5 and 6, when we go into Christ, we're all united as one. There's no factions and divisions and denominations. There's one love. How can we have be one with in love, and yet between there can be two divided? When husband and wife are divided, they're not in love. Those, they will be sick. Why? Because the two will be combined as one so they can go to heaven. Oh, they're dead. There's no more. You may say, forgive them. You don't have the heart of love. You don't receive blessings. So then God, Exodus 15, 26, first, the Word of God. We have to listen to the Word of God. So um, other religions, you may say, then you'll fall into ruins. Travel the world, the, the country that believes in other religions. They're in poverty. They're all really poor. They're starving. There's so many people who starve every day. You will know this when you travel the world. In our country, it's the same as well. Pastor, the other religions, they believe in other religions. They still do well, yes. The, for those who believe in Jesus Christ, they're suffering now and to catch the cow and they're not going to end up eating it. It seems like they're going to receive blessings, but it's not their blessings. Some, they prepare the table, but they die. The people who went to, when you go to a funeral, they say, oh, now we're about to do well and then they, they passed away. We, we bought the house and we're about to do well. They, they died. Uh, the children starting to do well, they died. So the, they're wicked. Why? Because they have to prepare for the righteous and then they die. Our country, some president, they worked so hard and then later they they gave, uh, they died. They, they're no more. So don't be jealous. Psalms 37 verse 1 of the wicked uh, doing well. That's the promises in the Bible. The way for us to receive blessings. First, we have to hear the Word of God. Second, if we hear the Word of God, we can't just stay still. Romans 2, 13, we have to change it into action and behavior. Indeed, you have to be a righteous person that God acknowledges. If that doesn't happen, you'll fall into ruins, you and your descendants. Each of you, in this world, the people of this world, in the 21st century, there will be more wicked and evil people. There will be more, uh, more thieves, more, uh, more swindlers, more fraud, more. Uh, there will be more politicians who are who are really, it's, and uh, there'll be there'll be more bad politicians. There'll be more people who are sick. Those who don't believe, that's what will happen to them. What happens to the parents, the youth? They'll really just be 
non-filial, and there'll problems. There'll be problems in society. It's God's promise, Second Timothy three thirteen. So there's no way to avoid that. So it's more wicked now than a thousand years ago and a hundred years ago. As time passes, it'll be the society will be more wicked and evil. It's what's determined in the Bible. Are there filial children in households without believing in Christians, believing Jesus? No. The, in the non-Christian house these days, I hear when their parents get sick, they, they want you to die early. They say, oh, they have to die early so that I can sell the building and do something else with it. The parents can't say this to anybody else. That's this world. The non-believers, That's if the life is like that, what about in Christ? The filial children, the children. Happiness is only in Christ. If you want to do well, believe in Jesus. If you want to receive uh, blessings, believe in Jesus. The righteous person that God acknowledges, do you receive blessings? After you become a righteous person that God acknowledges, you have to confirm whether you have become that or not, just like you test whether you're in the faith or not. What is it? Test whether you're, you have a good relationship with your spouse or not. You can tell. If they have a good relationship with their spouse, then they have received forgiveness before God. They're a righteous person. When you're a righteous person, Proverbs 10, 24, God will cause miracles to happen in their life. They hear the prayers of the righteous. So the, the two, whether they have cancer or whatever it is they have, between husband and wife, if they're unshameful, and they, they can say, I really love you, if you really love them, that cancer will be healed. So God, why did God give cancer? So that they'll be have better relationship with their spouse. So that's why, that's how in Matthew 5, 16, they can show to the people of the world, come see our life. But today, uh, the pastor's household, they're, they're worried to be found out how their real life is like at home. And elders and deacons, they, they're afraid for their household to be found out about how it really is. They're Christians. Why is it like that? By word, they're Christians, but they don't have a good relationship with their spouse or with their children. It's all they're so shameful they can't bear it. That's all these are all fake Christians who are hellward bound. Why is it like that? You have to go into Christ and you have to live confidently between husband and wife. You have a good relationship, everything else will go well. But some people they say that I like you, but you don't do you like me? They ask you. That's fake. So if I'm right before the Lord, then I, you don't have to ask. God will change their heart. That's faith. If I'm right before the Lord, the other person, even that they're not here at this place right now, if I'm right before the Lord, God will change the, your spouse, your partner. That's Exodus 15, 26. So this surprising, incredible promise, what is it? Between husband and wife. What is that? Uh, when you love your neighbors as yourself, that's his command. That's his commandment. Before we love our neighbors, we have to love uh, our spouse. Those who love their spouse, they love themselves. Really, tr genuinely. Those who genuinely love themselves, love their spouse. Those who love their spouse, love their neighbors. Outside of that, that's a lie. So, each of you, resolving all the problems, it's really in the hands of God. The problems that you have, it's, God has done it. God has done it, but you have done the deeds that's worthy of punishment. That's why when you do that, God's not pleased with that. Ezekiel 18, 31, 32. Your actions and behaviors, you should, your business should fall into ruins. You'll face, you'll, you should face punishment, punishment, and you should die with calamities, and you'll be punished. And you'll, but he'll pay back to us and judge us exactly according to our deeds. But that doesn't mean he's happy with that. God is not happy with having to, um, uh, having to punish us based on what we have done and so on. So we torment God, and yet He's a God of justice. So He judges us. So there's no way for you to avoid that judgment. So here. The way for us to be made alive from that is fearing the Lord. Proverbs 19.23, I hope you received these blessings today. Proverbs 19.23, each of you, you come to the Pusan First Church, you didn't know sin when it's pointed out to you through the blood of Christ, enable you to cleanse it. It's like a, a box of sprouts when there's water that continues to come forth. You, without you knowing, it gets bigger. If you lived like this for 10 years, it would have been good. Yes, I have faith in the future. Korea will be changed. The churches in Korea will be changed like this. I've seen that a lot of Korean churches in Korea have changed now. Why? Because I can tell. Uh, by, when I hear the Christian radio, the Christian radio, they almost they almost all say you can't. You all have to repent. So when you're here, water will be poured out or poured through. John 7, 38, 39, there'll be fresh water then pouring out. Then you'll you'll have beans that sprout. You'll change your fate. I believed in Jesus earlier. How much better would it have been? Yes, from now on, it can go well as well. Things can improve even now. 
The fact that you believed wrongly in the past, you grumble about that, you'll follow to your rules. Lord, thank you for giving me realization. Even now, those who believe, they have to be made alive today. The blessings that we have to receive, we have to go to heaven. We have to do even better. Calamities, we have to not receive it. What is that? That's fearing the Lord. Through fearing the Lord, Proverbs 19, 23. Let's read that with one voice. Let us begin. The fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. Amen. What's fearing the Lord? What is each of you? It's uh, simply put, it's faith. You say, I believe. That's fearing the Lord. Faith. God gives as a gift to those who don't have sin. When you fear the Lord, you have to do away with your sins for Him to give it to you. So Proverbs 8.13, isn't it? Now here, each of you, God, He wants to give us the best things. So me, you and me, according to these words, that surprising things happen, you know, you can use the angels that you can do that through fearing the Lord. You and I, that we can have use of the angels when we fear Him. He makes us only those who have angels at their disposal. Hebrews 1.14, they're the ones that are heavenward bound. It's not me determining this, God de determined this. Those who are heavenward bound, they'll find contentment and it'll happen according to their faith. Then that happening according to their faith includes having the angels work for, for them. It'll happen exactly in Korea, wherever, that it happens exactly according to the Holy Spirit. The country, in fa uh, oh, sorry, according to the, the Bible, on a personal and a family and a country level. Why do calamities happen? If you deny His words, it's seven times worse. Leviticus chapter 26, calamities will befall you, come upon you. So, I don't have time to share all the sermon, but when you listen, you, you realize, aha, that household, how the, it's going to fall into ruins, it's there. Uh, how that country is going to fall into ruins, it happens. It's there all according to the Bible. Oh, this is what happened. Oh, this is what stage they're at. This is how they're going to fall into ruins. It's all like that. Those who kneel before the Word of God and obey, then that will all be nullified and changed into a blessing. Each of you right now, and me as well, when we fear Him, we go to heaven. When we fear Him, we live life in contentment and there'll be calamities will disappear. The Word of the Almighty will happen exactly according to His words. So what is fearing the Lord? If we properly understood this, and live life always as a person who fears the Lord, that's Proverbs 28, verse 14. That's God's command to us. Proverbs 28, 14. Let's look that up. Proverbs 28, 14. Each of you, you believe in Jesus. If you live, believe properly and correctly, how great it is. So this content, contentment, you'll all receive this. Your children will all be children who are filial children. If this is so, so great, why is it that you believed wrongly and went the wrong path, that you live life tormenting God? And you're, you Pharisees, you Sadducees, you, um, you're going to face the wrath of God. Who are the Pharisees? They take the Word of God. And the churches, when you go to the fake churches, they say, they focus on the Word and the Gospel. They say it's the Word of God. They all talk about it being focused on the Word of God. But yet they say something foolish and strange. That's the one that's uh, who are going to face the calamities, who are going to face the wrath of God. They'll be double. God will make them seven. God says seven times worse they'll become. It's recorded in all of chapter 26. Why is the world, as time passes, it gets worse? Because if we don't follow according to the word of God, then God, that's what God will make happen on an individual level, family level, your company level, your business and your country level. The world is like that. If you obey according to the Word of God, you'll be blessed. But everybody will receive the best blessings, but we came here to go to that path. Proverbs 28, verse 14. Let's read with one voice. How blessed is the man who fears always, but he who hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Amen. Fearing the Lord, it doesn't end with just one time. Always fearing the Lord. It's not just you repent once. Uh, repenting is fearing the Lord. It's not repenting once. You have to always repent. The fakes, they say you just believe once is enough, but they didn't believe from the very beginning. If you receive faith as a gift, if you know the taste of that, they won't go back towards that and they can't bear it. Once you have tasted real faith, then you have to, even though they try to destroy you, you have to go that path because 
You know, God determines life or, or death just because someone's going to kill you doesn't mean that that'll happen. God has to allow it. You know, you, that's when there's martyr when God allows you to go to heaven because you have done a lot of good works. God has to allow it. There's, so they don't have, they don't fear life or death. The, in the end of the, in the end of the dynasty, there was the like a cabinet member, police. Uh, he was the head of the securities in the last of the Yi, Yi dynasty. There was somebody, something he said, believing in Jesus. He said, they're, they're not even scared of me. I don't know. I can't do anything to them. They don't even fear me. He, he was, everybody was so afraid of the national security guard. He can kill them, make a life. But the Jesus, the Christian said, you can kill me. So there's no law. When somebody says you can, yeah, you can kill them, they have to be feared death so that they can so that you can rule them but, but if they're not there's no law against them if they're not they, they have no fear faith is like that so today there's so many fake they believe they have not tasted that kind of real faith they say if you believe once it's enough that's like the sounds of beasts animals always fear it says fear the lord to fear the lord you can be a person that's heavenward bound, that can have the angels work for you amidst conviction of salvation, that you'll do better and better, you'll have contentment and sharing happiness and benefit to others. So others will be pleased with that, blocking all the calamities. The person that has lived life tasting that, they can't depart from that. So always fearing the Lord, they can automatically do that because it works. That's why God said to do it. Not so that you can do it on your own. That's a, he didn't. He's not a God who makes us do something we cannot do and force us Always those who fear the Lord, they're the ones that are blessed. That's blessings on earth, are descendants doing well, giving benefit to others. This is freeing the Lord. So therefore, each of you, the person that doesn't do that, what kind of person are they? Sins coming out of their heart, and sins of not wanting to retain God in their heart, they keep that unrepented, unrepented. the one who has a hardened heart. Matthew 13, 14, their eyes are blind. They have eyes, but their eyes are like beasts and a dog. They can't see properly, not like a upright person. So they say, watch carefully. And yet they do the deeds that's falling into ruins. They, they say, oh, I'm, I'm closely going to go the right path. And yet they go the path of ruins. That's the one that has the eyes of a perishing beast. The heart is like that. that uh, when the heart is uh, hardened, then the eyes get dim. And they only hear the words that lead to ruins. They can't hear the words that God says to receive blessings. They only listen to the, the words, uh, the voices of calamity. If you properly want to see correctly, when you properly repent, that's when you can properly see things and hear things. Otherwise, you all hear things and see things backwards. So even on the, when, when you're sleeping, you end up hearing the wrong things and doing foolish things you thought you heard. Apostle Paul and those who traveled with him on the road path to Damascus, Acts 19, 15, they all heard the same sound, but Apostle Paul heard Saul, Saul. He heard that. Those who traveled with them were like beasts. They said there was a loud noise. That's all they heard. They're saying the words of beasts. They, they hear the voice of God the same, but they don't understand. So what is it But each of you? Your heart, have you, have, have you repented in your heart so that you're not shameful before God? If you haven't properly repent, it's repented then you, you, you'll experience many things when you do forced up repentance, that you hear things other people have not heard. Those who have repented a lot, the sins coming out of our heart, you, you, you said to repent a lot, not wanting to retain God in our heart, yes, that's good. Those are all good. Sins coming out of your flesh, that's good. But last, the sins, 2 Timothy 3, 9, the, 2 Timothy 3, 1, but repenting all of that more specifically in the 66 books of the Bible. It's pointing out in different corners. So how many Bible verses are repent today? That depending on that, you become changed. If you have more than 15,000 verses, at least of the word of God, that you repent every day. God can barely, uh, God can say, okay, he's worthy to be used. That's why before Musu Park, when you're at that point, you can hear properly hear the voice of God. Uh, the, you can hear why in the nearby island, who's going to fall into ruins? You hear it. Let's all, we have to sharpen each other as steel sharpens steel. So believe in Jesus, but if you believe properly for 10 years, you'll be in great shape. So yet you believe wrongly, foolishly, and you're listening to the sermon that's going to be worthy of curses. You attend church, you fall into ruins instead, and your children and your neighbors fall into ruins. 
the factions and divisions that argue at church, where do they go? Even the, list, the listeners fall into ruins. Listen, be careful of this. This is 2 Timothy 2.14. Even the listeners of arguments fall into ruins because where there's where there's argument, there's factions and divisions. There are no organizations that's hell we're bound, and yet people don't realize that they say they go to church. This is it's how easy it is, but yet where there's where there's uh, arguments, they're all the listeners fall into ruins. Just because you're a pastor doesn't mean go to heaven. Just because you're an elder or deacon doesn't mean go to heaven. Just because you believe for a long time doesn't mean go go to heaven. Only those who are in Christ, they don't have factions. Those who are in Christ, they don't have factions and divisions. In Christ, there's no factions and divisions. Why? Because we're all one. That's Ephesians 1.10. When you, what is fearing the Lord? Being in Christ. If you don't fear the Lord, you'll be hellward bound. If you don't fear the Lord, you don't receive blessings. But fearing the Lord, that's being in Christ. Let's receive a lot of good things. That's why that he'll really love you. That's it. Some people say, they don't love me. But without... On behalf... Each of you, you're like that. That's, that's how you love with all your heart. But why is it things aren't working out for you? Because you have your own stubbornness. You have your own thoughts. Or that's your own stubbornness. So from there, you have to be freed from that, be liberated from that. How do you receive liberation from that, freedom from that? The truth has to come inside here. John 8, 32. So the, the truth has to come inside you. Through repentance, the Holy Trinity, the truth has to come inside. That's when we are liberated and free. People talk about, give me liberty. What happens if they don't give it to you? It's, they say, give me death or give me liberty. Then you have to believe in Jesus. You can say that, and then they go to a different religion. They're, they go to where there's no liberty. There's no freedom. It's very unfortunate. And yet, they expect to do well with their spouse. If you don't have freedom, then uh, when you come, your spouse doesn't like that. Those who free, Only those who free the Lord go where? They go to heaven. Each of you, listen carefully. Proverbs 19.23. Those who are heavenward bound, you do that through fear. Those who fear the Lord. Those who fear the Lord. They'll live life in contentment. Those who fear the Lord. They, so God will like, block them so they won't be in a different... That's why. Why is it that we believe in Jesus? It's good to watch TV these days. When people watch TV, it's just the animal kingdom. You're just similar, just like the animal kingdom. That's what it teaches us. You listen, you see it, and you smile. You end up just being uh, a beast. The fact that you're here today, God will give you incredible things. The incredible blessings will go down to you. We're here so that that blessing can do well. What? Proverbs 18, 13. Let's look that up. Many people, they say they fear the Lord. They fear the Lord. They say that. But only through repentance they can they fear the Lord. It's the promises that lead to heaven. You're not able to fear the Lord and not look at other people in the eye. That's why they don't have a good relationship with your spouse. As much as you don't have good relationships, the problems won't be resolved. Why to go this path? Between husband and wife, you have a good relationship. There's no problem. Then the peace that God gives, John 14, 27, the peace that God gives is different than the worldly peace. You receive this incredible blessings. This by the strength of man, they don't have it. It's, it doesn't exist. But people talk about a peace initiative for the world. You realize, uh, oh, they're father, the head of liars. You know, even the world peace, man cannot do it. So if they could, rejoice, our Savior is born. That would have been a lie. So God, the glory to God, and to those who are clothed with the calling, there's peace. That's all lies. Only God gives the, the peace. Yes, you just have to share four step repentance. You just have to go into Christ. You don't have it before that. And yet they they were alive from the beginning. We say, I'm a liar, but you follow. And then there are all sorts of organizations. The truth, when it's not properly preached, people are deceived and they're the peace initiative is not for people. God has given it to us. And what we we just have to wear the calling through four step repentance. We just have to be true uh, called, then God will give it to us. So, what peace initiative do we have to have? 
Just because you do. How are they so noble if they're lying? The, the way for us to meet Jesus is only through four star repentance. When we do four star repentance, peace will come. If they did that, that would have been fine. But if they don't, it's very unfortunate, pitiful. Where? So, especially we, on a personal level, we can do it on a personal level. So then, when I'm in comfort, my com family is in comfort, my society is in comfort, a country is in comfort, then God will make it like that. Where? When they're on their own, they talk about peace. No, they cannot have peace on their own. Our country, what situation is it in? We're following the path of uh, ruins as well. We're making a welfare state. Those who make welfare state, uh, they there's the country will fall into ruins. If we create our own way, if we create our own blessings, we'll, they'll fall into ruins. Denmark and Canada, the United States all fall into ruins. More and more, they'll be in demise. The more they have welfare state, the more they'll demise because men cannot give blessings, but they make the rule of uh, blessings on their own because they're disobeying the word of God. Our country, we're having more of a welfare state. I, I realize we're following the path of ruins as well. We should not follow in those kind of things. The blessings God gives, man cannot make it and give it. If man made it and could give it, then Yi Dynasty, their descendants will live well, But because they could do whatever they want in Korea. But their ancestors, you cannot make the blessings. Our ancestors cannot make the blessings. We cannot make the blessings. Only God gives it to us. That's why God is the source of all blessings. He's Genesis 12.1. Abraham was a source of blessings. Faith is a source of blessings. So if you want to receive blessings, then there's only the path is uh, to have, be a believer, to believe. Yet people say fo other foolish things. That's all lies. The way for us to receive blessings is only this path. Proverbs 8.13. What's fearing the Lord? Let's read with one voice. The fear of the Lord is straight evil, pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverted mouth I hate. Amen. So here, this world, it's so dirty and wicked, and the sins that's coming from inside of us and our own sins, hating that, that's fearing the Lord. All, when we hate that, that, that means that we're close to it or we'll depart from it. We'll, we won't deal with it when it departs. Ezekiel 18, 30, 30. Let's look that up. Ezekiel 18, 30. Departing from evil, the way for us to do that. It has nothing to do with us, me and, and evil and wicked. We depart from it. Going the path of blessings, being far from wicked and evil, that's only, the only path is fearing the Lord. This fearing of the Lord is, is repentance. It's repentance, this fearing of the Lord. Ezekiel 18.30. Let's read with one. What page is that? The thousand, hundred, eight. So, but if we want to talk about that, we just have to talk about repentance. People talk about all, the, people take out is it repentance. All of Ezekiel about repentance. There's only that. All of Ezekiel. So you believe once, you're fake. Faith, you have to continue to try at it, keep at it. Just because you repent once, you become righteous. That's not the end of it. The righteous, they don't repent. They become wicked and evil. It's all of Ezekiel is talking about this. And yet people talk, talk about Ezekiel and Jesus, and they talk about the, the dry bones. It's not all about dry bones. When you repent, God's promise, God's promise is to bring into existence what doesn't exist. That's Romans 4, 17. God, let's read with one voice, Ezekiel 18, 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, each according to his conduct, declares the Lord God. Repent and turn away from all your transgressions so that your iniquity may not become a stumbling block for you to you. Amen. So here it says, repent. And it says, and turn away from all your transgressions. What's turning away from all your transgressions? That's repenting. What's repenting is fearing the Lord. Re repenting, uh, fearing the Lord is repent your, your sins. And after that, you go back, you depart from evil, go back towards God. That's repentance. When you go back to, into the embrace of, of the, our, our Father, that's when we receive faith as a gift. That's when we're fearing the Lord. That's when we're repenting. When we depart and cut off from sin, that's rep so how much we repent? 
Well, it's only through four step repentance. It's four through four step that's freeing the Lord, is repenting, is freeing the Lord. So then you and I, 24 hours, the sins that's coming forth, do you believe in that? So we have to repent that sins are coming forth from us 24 hours. That's why the Lord says as a daily, as our daily nourishment, as our daily food, we have to repent three times a day. That's our daily nourishment that, that fill our, nur uh, our nourishment, our spiritual nourishment. That's the word of God the, through the law. When it's repentant, uh, the word of God is our spiritual nourishment. The law is for us to repent. It's the same Bible. It could be the law. It could be the word. Do you know a little bit now? When it's the law, it's for us to repent. When it's the, the word of God, it's for us to be nourished by. We don't know what it, why it's the same thing. We call it the law or the word of God. But law is when we repent. After you repent, then those words, it comes as, as strength and power and does its miracles. So you don't even know that. You go to church. What, what are you doing then? You're fake. That's what it is. So those who fear the Lord today, they're the ones that repent. And repent to what point? To block the calamities and receive blessings to that point. So you and I, those who fear the Lord, those are the ones who repent. So how must we repent? After you repent, those who fear the Lord, what image they appear as? From repenting, starting from repenting, my heart and my life, how does it manifest? Romans 15, let's look that up. Verse 5 and 6, that's freeing the Lord. So therefore, the, the, the Word of God, the, the Word of the Bible, when you meditate on it silently, and you listen to this and you realize, oh, I've never even heard of this. Did I make the Bible? So you don't even know that. And then you don't have faith, so you don't know much about the Bible. You're all fake, but yet you're, and it's the churches, they have arguments. They receive curses and calamities. They go to places like that. The fact that you're not dead and you're alive, be thankful. You go to the fake churches, and yet there's only arguments, and that's, it's very unfortunate. And, and yet people, they so arrogantly, their conscience are seared. And Matthew 23, a lot of, uh, all of chapter Matthew 23, you're going to face the wrath of God when you read that in faith, when you go into Christ, when you receive faith as a gift, you realize, wow, this is the image of me. It's all there. So that's why people argue. Matthew chapter 23, as it happens as in there, 10, 20 years or 40, 50 years, you attend church, and there are people, according to their age, they may have attended 70, 80 years because they were Christians at birth. But Matthew chapter 23, which ch uh, church says you're going to face the wrath of God. When God, you realize that's you, whatever Bible verse it is, you were not able to share it, then that's a fake church. The church that can preach it all, that's a real church. We have to live life properly. What's what's being uh, on the, uh, so we have to be able to share all of the Word of God so that we're not biased. Romans 15, verse 5 and 6, we may fear the Lord. And when, I, when I have feared the Lord, and when I have, if I have really truly repented my sins, then what happens, what appears in my life? There's no factions. That's what, you have to fear the Lord. For you to go where? Those who don't fear the Lord, they cannot go there. Proverbs 19, 23, it's recorded there. So that's why. Those who are forward, hellward bound, they cause factions and division of the church. Let's read with one voice, Romans 15, verse 5. Now, may the God who gives you perseverance and encouragement grant you to be in the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus, so, so that, that with one accord you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you imitate Christ Jesus, that's on my side. We have to go into Christ, meet Jesus, and be like Him. And be as Christ Jesus coming into us. That's having faith through Christ, cleansing all the dirty sins in us. We become clean when Christ coming inside of our heart. That's the mystery of Christ. God's mystery is realizing Christ. After you realize Christ, you're forced to repentance, Christ coming inside of us. That's the mystery. So this mystery, when it's fulfilled, then Jesus comes inside of us. When Jesus coming inside of us, that's having faith. This faith, the person that has this faith, the person that has this faith, one heart, one mind, they become one heart, one mind. So they don't, the, only the fake churches do this, which is they, uh, they talk about, they try to make that into a, uh, they're insane, they're crazy on themselves. They're trying to do things on themselves, by themselves, talk about it by themselves. 
No matter how many, they're insane. So no matter how many people there are, when you go into Christ, there's one mind, one mouth. So Jesus didn't want you to go and have, Jesus didn't have these different committee meetings, but the fakes do. You have demon inside. Their heart are different. They're not single-hearted. If you're not single-hearted, where did you not go in? You did not go into Christ Jesus. Where there's no Christ Jesus, they don't have faith. They're fakes. Those who don't fear the Lord, who are fakes, they're hellward bound. They don't. They would do that. But those who are heavenward bound, they don't. They don't have. If there's only one, united one in Christ. How can you have factions and divisions? Those who are in Christ go into, and there's no factions and divisions. You're by yourself. You're all united as one. There's no factions and denominations. You're one in Christ. If you're one in Christ, each of you, only those who fear the Lord goes to heaven. What is that? My actions, one heart, one mouth. That's fearing the Lord. Pastor, it doesn't say fearing the Lord. So let's see if it's fearing the Lord. One heart, what? Jeremiah 32. Let's look that up. Jeremiah 32. So how much you have gone to the fake churches. You have tormented God. God has not destroyed you right away. And you've tormented him. We're so thankful that he did not destroy us right away. But let's ask for forgiveness that we have tormented God. We have tormented him so much. I have to realize that and know how to repent that. When you go to your mother and say, I did wrong, and you ask for forgiveness, then what your mother, would, what would she not give you? If you don't even beg for forgiveness and say, what did I do wrong? Give me some allowance. No, I'm not going to give you allowance, your mom may say and may come out with a whip instead and uh, whip your shins, each of you. God, He is love. He wants us to do well. He wants us to do better and better. But we pick the things that lead to ruins. We do all of that. And yet we don't know how to read this. When you listen to the Word of God, Musu Park's philosophy or the Word of God, but the, go to the fake churches, they, they don't even do this. Focusing on the Word of God, they're not. They're not focusing on the Word of God. You have to repent for you to be based on the Word of God. People don't realize that. They say, hey, we're based on the Word of God. Have you properly repented for you to claim that you're based on the Word of God? People, each of you, why go to places like that and you get deceived? When they talk about the Word of God, it's after repentance. John 5, 38, where's the Word of God? Where is it in your heart? Those who have repented, and the, the Word of God goes inside of them, and if they, they have not repented, you cannot have the Word of God go inside of you. Matthew, what is the Word of God? John 1, 1. It's Jesus, and it's the Holy Trinity. So we cannot go into the Holy Trinity without doing forced repentance, and yet people are telling lies that they can. So you're going to the path of ruins. It's like in a bean sprout box. It's good that you're there, but if you don't put whole, cold, uh, fresh water, you put dirty water, it'll all rot. But why live a life of faith like that? Why you live a life of faith that's de de being deceived, even now, to God, the fact that we tormented Him? Let's repent that. It's from today on, let's have a new beginning. Jeremiah 32, from 36 to 42. Now this. Jeremiah 32. So after you receive faith as a gift, the person, the person, if you have not received faith as a gift, if you don't know Jesus Christ, then you, you talk about a certain type of sermon. Demons can't give that kind of sermon. Let's live life knowing this properly. Jeremiah, verse 32. From 36, because of time, we'll read one verse, and I'll, what page is it? 1100, page 1105, did we all look it up? Even looking up the Bible, when you come to Pusan First Church, you'll end up improving, it'll change. Some people ask, what page is it? I ask, what page is it? So you, you'll surely continue to do well. Verse 36. Now, therefore, thus says the Lord God of Israel, the promises in the Old Testament is whose? Deuteronomy 5.3. It's mine. So, therefore, when it says Israel, it says Jehovah God, King, Says, it is given to the hand of the bad. When things are in a bad situation, 
when you're in such a bad, even sickness and disease, AIDS and cancer, because through these sickness and, and you're in the hands of the king of Babylon by sword. It is given unto the hand of the king of Babylon by sword, by famine, and by pestilence. God, when we disobey the word of God, to that country in the beginning, he'll make things a little bit tough economically. With calamities, they'll make it difficult. With sickness, they'll make it difficult. God will make things difficult for us. If we still don't have realization, then the neighboring country, he makes them wicked and evil and makes them punish you, come in and attack and punish you. When we properly see the Bible, listen carefully, the, North Korea, even Soviet, fell into ruins. The head of the uh, communist country fell into ruins. But why did why does North Korea survive? Why did God uh, leave it like that? You and I, when we live a life of faith, that's like dogs. God wants to punish us through using them. This, we properly have realization, and we have to fear it. So God left aside North Korea, not to give us blessings, but it's a, he has left it as a as a sort as a vehicle, a vessel of wickedness. Why? The, the people of Korea, we have so many factions and divisions, we're even less than 100 years of Christian history, and yet we have more than 200 different denominations. Then are we going to have to be punished to come to our senses? God is, that's what it's saying. That it's talking about Babylon, it's that. Leviticus 26, when you read that, it comes out in very detail. Each of you in this country, I lived enough, you may say. Oh, you're wicked and evil, then that's not a proper person. My descendants have to do well. Even to our neighboring countries, we have to do well. We have to be a person that fears the Lord. Who can give that blessings on? I lived at the end of Busan. Even thoughts like that, that's wicked and evil. Oh, I have to emigrate to a foreign country. No, that's not it either. If God, I mean, police wants to catch you. People, uh, God, he'll kill us even with a heart attack. We can't avoid it. Don't, we can't run away from it. Here right now in our place through repentance, even what others did wrong, we should pray intercessory prayer to help save our country. So God la leaves North Korea there. Lord, it's just like the Bible. If we don't repent and we're off and we're crooked, then we're, there's punishment to, for us to receive. What's it say in the world news? North Korea, when they attack, they won't, they won't a small, so God, they're going to die with one big shot. If That's the world opinion right now. They, what's it say? Why is there rumors like that, that even a country will die in one shot? King Ezekiel, he listened to rumors. King Azur, he listened to rumors. Babylon, King, he listened to the rumors and he was discouraged. Let's come to our senses here. Here today, these words, it's what it's saying. And yet people ask, what are we going to do? What's going to happen? There's only repentance, just asking, begging God for forgiveness. There's only the sign of Jonah. What's the sign of Jonah? The nine of a uh, tomb, you have, he's going to make it fall into ruins. So there's only each of you live a life of faith if you through calamity you'll be blocked so if that's not the love of christ even the spirit that's dying even the spirit that's being used as wicked vessel in north korea that god still loves them through prayers that our enemy will become friends through vigil prayer that enemies will become friends we have to receive that blessings so verse 37 let's look that up that's uh, Jeremiah 32, 37. Behold, I will gather them out of all the lands to which I have driven them in my anger, in my wrath, and in great indignation, and I will bring them back to this place and make them dwell in safety. He split up the family. He's gone. Gathered all the people, make the, the family one, the country, the church being one, the country being one, and scattering God does as well. So to gather them, to lead them here again. Gather them, behold, I will gather them out of all the lands to which 
God's the one that raises us up, raises us up even if our country falls into ruins. We become united as one Korea if we take out all the different factions and divisions. But if people have different titles and then they want that, we won't be united as one. We go into Christ and go to heaven, go to the path of contentment. When you come here, you'll automatically become united as one. I, I have uh, my title on with my hat, but you take it off. No, they can't be like that. What's that saying? In a cruel way, the wicked are doing that. So what must we do in situations like this? Today, hear the voice of God clearly. I'm the one that gathered and I separated. He's always Him. Even though you're about to fall into ruins, there is a path for you to be made alive. There is. You and I, when we go into Christ, we can be a church. When we go into church, you can be a family. What is this? One more time, where this is what it's not going to work. We don't. I hope you all have faith and hope. Excuse me. Verse 38, you all have hope. Verse 38. Well, they will be my people and I will be their God. What great news this is. So what's it saying? This is an incredible promise, isn't it? Verse 30, and they shall be my people and I will be their God. And verse 39, and I will give them one heart and one way. Earlier, Romans 15, verse 5 and 6, the heart of Jesus Christ is one heart, one mouth. So therefore, you'll give that kind of heart. So when you do force that repentance, you'll receive that kind of heart. What is that? That is having no factions and divisions, doing away with that. If you have one heart, there's no factions and divisions. There's one mouth. There's no need to have a committee meeting. There's only one. When they're one, there's no need for it, all of that. So there, these, that's when we go behind a little bit, what, that's freeing the Lord. What's freeing the Lord? To what point are, that I'll will be changed? When your heart changes, even your actions change. Hebrews 9, 14. So therefore, each of you, if you properly, outside of properly doing first start repentance, there's no way for you to fear the Lord. Do you properly have realization of this now? What's fearing the Lord? It's living faith. From faith, it's going to living faith. So therefore, it's one heart. Where they're giving me one heart, one way. That's freeing the Lord. So when you go into Christ, it doesn't work. You will, you're found out that you're fake. There's only this path that enables us to go to heaven. One heart, one way. When we do one heart, those who fear the Lord, only this faith leads to heaven. So all who are hellward bound, we can't. They can't share this sermon. If they wanted to, they would have to tell lies. They're not going to say for their repentance. So. Because they have to lie. So that's why each of you, God, God is asking, are we in shambles? Have we fallen to ruins? And He will save us up. He'll raise us up again. Then you'll be my people and you'll be my God. That's what happens. That's the person that received one heart one way. So give me, I'll give them one heart in one way. So is it something we have on our own or is it that God gives it to us? No, one heart, one way. I can't do it on our own. Peace. We'll be at peace if we are single-hearted. Why is it husband and wife? We're not single-hearted. We have two minds. But when you go into Christ, you become, become of one heart. So the so people are two, but they only have one heart. So in them, in there is peace. That's Matthew 19, verse 4 and 5. So without forced repentance, you can't taste happiness between husband and wife. And living on earth, it's like you receive curses and calamities and life is so hard. They've made their spouse so wrong and then they say they need an adapter. So the path to receive heaven, is that a lot or few? That's why, just like in the days of Noah, the Word of God. Jesus, if Jesus, he had to lick leper 
You have, he have to lick the lepers to heal them. Would he do it or not? He could. That kind of, he, if you properly do four-step repentance, that kind of love would come forth. That love will come forth. You have, you have to experience this, know it. The, that when that happens, all your sickness will be healed. Your family will be at peace, truly at peace and happy and content. And no need to tell, to tell your son that you'll be filial children. They'll all be, have turned into that. Let's live this great life. Live this in a great way. God, this, this is so great. God gives to us. It's not made by our effort. It does, it's not done because of your PhD. No, God will give to us. One heart, one way, then He will give it to us. For him and their descendants on their behalf of the ble for blessings. When you don't do this, do you receive weddings or not? Now you know that you don't receive. The one heart, one way that God gives, we have to have that. So we have to receive that which God gives, that you can receive blessings, your descendant can, descendants can receive blessings. If it's Korea that doesn't accept this or receive this, and they cause rather distractions, divisions, and arguments in the church, even if they don't argue, they went back at one point, what they say? When we, when you look away at them, that you've already an enemy, you're fought. You're, that's, as long as factions, divisions don't combine. Those who make the effort for unity, they're fakes as well. God. He does it. When we go into Christ and He fears the Lord, God gives it to us. We become united as one automatically. Uh, when we receive this, you receive blessings, your descendants will receive blessings. If it's not for this, do you receive blessings or wrath? You receive only calamities and curses. What pastor or elder, they're receiving, they're believing Jesus if they're receiving curses and calamities. That's a lie. What God gives, we have to receive it. Where does it say that? So we have to go into Christ. Romans 15, verse 5 and 6, it goes into... So, for them and their descendants, fear me always. And I will give them one heart, one way, that they may fear me always. Proverbs 28. If you repent only once, you have to... Don't listen to words of demons that says you believe uh, and have and repent only once. You have to fear him always, it says. Ezekiel 18.30, we have to fear him always and hate sin. We are deceived and to lies that we're living the life where we're... Are there not committee meetings at church? Oh, you have a demon. If you're by yourself, there's no need for a meeting. If you're one heart, if you're by one heart, is it? There's nothing to share in a, if you're meeting if you're a person of one. What? Why have committee meetings where you commit sin? It's better to receive blessings instead. Those with demon aside, they're the ones that are making these comments, asking these questions. It's in, what they're. It's not right versus the word of God. We have to follow and obey. If we don't, if we don't follow and obey, it's curses and calamities. Let's live life properly. That you will do well. Your descendants will do well. You will go to heaven. And fear the Lord, then verse 40, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I may not turn away from them to do them good. And when you always fear the Lord, when you always fear the Lord, he will not depart from us and he'll follow us and bless us. My son, he went abroad to England. He'll follow and bless them. When, when we fear that, when you and I fear the Lord, when you, where your, where's your children? What are you going to do? You may say he'll follow us and bless us. My child went to the army. They don't let us come in. No, God will follow and, and bless us. When? If I just fear the Lord, you and your descendants, He'll follow and bless us. He will not depart from us. Meaning he won't, that means that He's following us. So, to bless us, and I will give them one heart, one way, that they may fear me always for their own good and for the good of their children after them, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them, with them, that I will not turn away from them, to do them good, and I will put the fear of me in their hearts so that they will not turn away from me. When you do forced our repentance, He will come inside of us by faith. He will give us faith as a gift. That's what it gives to us. Those persons who have received this faith by actions, their life will be changed so they'll be homeward bound from, they don't have the image of the wickedness to the end. That's fearing the Lord. Faith is a gift. The Holy Spirit is a gift. My actions are changed, making us a proper person that's a, a gift as well. That's freeing the Lord. It's all combined. When you do forced repentance, that's what happens. 
with me, between husband and wife, I don't, we don't have one heart. Then you're, we are two hearts. If your heart is one, then you'll, uh, husband and wife are the same. How can two people have the same heart? The heart of Holy Trinity is always the same wherever it is. That's why you and I, this heart, if I'm not, if I'm not in the in the Holy Trinity and I'm not ruled by the Holy Trinity, we have the heart of the demon. Matthew 12, 28, they live however the way they want. When the Holy Spirit comes, the demon departs and a heart will be unified as one. That's why my heart, the heart with my spouse, we become one heart before the Lord. That's why there's no arguments between husband and wife. There's nothing to hate about. There's no dislike. Husband and wife, when they argue that prayer, God does not hear. First Peter 3, 7. So why is it that you don't receive answers to your prayers? Why God he says he'll heal us, but he doesn't heal us? Your heart is still double-minded. The Satan, uh, you're double-minded, two-faced. You're two, so your spouse is two as well. When you become unified as one, it'll be all over and you'll receive answers to your prayers. We have to always be like that. We have to always do that. It's going to come to church, put on first church. You pray one time, you it'll come back you'll, and you get healed. You'll come, it gets even worse. It gets eight times worse. It gets eight times worse. That's Leviticus chapter 26. It's in the whole chapter. So the country gets worse, eight times worse and more wicked and society becomes more wicked and evil. When we, other religions, they scorn believing in God and you don't listen to the word of God. Your country, it'll get seven or eight times worse. Leviticus chapter 26, the whole chapter, it's about that. So each of you, where did you want your life to go? A country where you wanted to go? The ships let coming and going, God, He allows that. God, man cannot move it. We just have to fear His words. You go the path of blessings. So here, in verse 40, you'll make an everlasting covenant with them. In verse 40, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them. If you fear always, and do them good, and I will put the fear of me in their hearts, so that they will not turn away from me. Verse forty-one. I will rejoice over. I will rejoice over them to do them good. He doesn't just give to us; he do, gives it to us joyfully. Mother and father, when he gives us, when they give us allowance with joy, then that's when it's good. When they, then they're all angry and give you ten dollars and says, "Hey, look at your behavior," and they scold you and scorn you. When you receive the allowance after you spend it, even when you're spending it, you feel guilty. I've received that kind of allowance. Why? I didn't listen, and I asked for allowance. That's what happened. Then you listen well, and they they give to you joyfully. There's, it's not like that. We're, they said, oh, I need this much. They said, oh, you need more. There's $30 more. You know, Father, instead of, they say, hey, you, why are you spending so much money? Am I the only one that received allowance like that? There's, then you had pride. You want to say something. If you have pride, then that's no good. You have to just, you have to uh, repent it all before God. Verse 41. And I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will faithfully plant them on this land with all my heart and with all my soul. For thus says the Lord, just as I have brought all this great disaster on the people, so I'm going to bring on them all the good that I'm promising them. He gives us the calamities, but when we repent always, and calamity will be over. He'll give us blessings instead. Each of you, you will do well. This is fearing the Lord. What is fearing the Lord? It happens only in Christ, only through forced step repentance. What is that? One heart, one way, going in that path. The heart of going one way. That's one heart, one way. Let's repeat after me. One heart, one way. One heart, one way. Only in Christ this is fulfilled. Each of you. We came here to receive these blessings. Each of you. When you do one heart, one way, miraculous things will happen. It'll be done to you according to your faith. This is miracles happening. Why are things not doing well? He will follow us and bless us. This is so surprising and incredible. So even on the street, a patient, a, God will follow us and bless us. You go to the bathhouse, wherever I go, even international, on a plane, on a train, or a bus, wherever it is, God he will follow us and bless us. So let's live this great life. Each of you, you'll do well. It seems like you're not doing well at first. When you go into Christ, you're, God will three times a day pour water. Just repent three times, three times a week. 
차라리 콩을 볶아 먹지. So, might, might as well heat up the, the, the beans. Wait, it'll be a mung sprout. It'll sprout. Now you'll be bean sprout. It'll sprout and it'll grow. You, now you'll be mung sprouts, bean sprouts. You'll become mung sprouts in the small sanctuary. It will work for you. You will grow. You will grow. That, that all will all be uh, will all have growth and live a great life. It's completely by His grace. It seems like it's not working out for you. Amidst hearing these words, the word of God that you listen to, it's all yours. These words, what you see is yours. What you hear is yours. These words. It's, uh, when you read it and said it with your mouth, then what you said is also yours as well. So it's double, triple our blessings. I hope you will live in this way. When you live this way, it's sweeter than honey. And then from Monday, we would listen all day. It would have been good, but yes. Just all day. It, it's like putting water on sprout on, on the beans. Even you pour it all day, there's nothing wrong with it. But there's the water. If you the water will be changed when you get dirty. Sorry to say, if you keep the it'll it'll spoil. But the word of God, it's always new. It doesn't rot. You'll do well. Let us pray together. Almighty Father, we were so wrong, we lived life so wrongly in our habitual way. We say we're centered on the Word of God, we're focused on the Word of God, but but the dirty image where we have sinned. Colossians chapter 2, verse 20, as in there, that when we have died and been nailed on the cross with Him, how, how can we still go the worldly outward worldly way. We have not heard your rebuke to us. Now help us to have realization through your words. Help us to be individuals who have a new beginning. Father God, only one heart, one way. The ones who fear the Lord, only the spring of the Lord go, and we go to heaven. We'll do well. Our descendants will do well. And block our calamities. The spring of the Lord block is fulfilled only in Christ. Now, Father God, thank you for giving us realization through his word. Thank you for us to have, help us to be obedient to your word, do one heart one way, be one who fears the Lord, that I will receive blessings, my descendants will receive blessings, that I'll go to heaven and do better and better and block the calamity for others. Help us to receive all the promise of your blessings where you follow us and bless us. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and God's infinite love in the communion of the Holy Spirit and, and those and being with us and having us have realization from this hour on help us to be one who fear the Lord receive the fearing of the Lord that you give and keep it in our heart and till the very end having the desire to be with you the their hearts and their family and those who serve and their that you'll be with them now and forever I pray in the name of the Lord Amen